Well, I'm here in front of London's Horse Guards Parade, part of the entrance to the Buckingham Palace estate here in London, and it's protected full time by four ceremonial guards, two on horseback and two on foot. And every morning here they take part in the changing of the guard, a ceremony watched by thousands of people every day. But beginning this week, that centuries old ceremony has a new addition, heavily armed security personnel that we saw this morning set up just across the street. They say they've been stationed here since the beginning of this week, reportedly a result of a security review that was ordered by British Prime Minister David Cameron last week, a direct response to the shootings in Ottawa. Those security personnel watching, keeping watch over the ceremonial guards as they perform their ceremonial duties, just like Corporal Nathan Cirillo was doing last week when he was attacked at Ottawa's National War Memorial. This certainly one of the more visible signs that we have seen so far reflecting the concerns about the potential for a copycat attack even here far beyond Canada's borders and it's not expected to be the only example. Reports say that security will be ramped up significantly next month at the Armistice and Remembrance Day ceremonies. Lots of visible examples of the heavy security like the one we're seeing here as well as invisible undercover security guards filing through the crowds. Jeff Semple, CBC News, London.